Hello guys, this is my first video on coding and I am really excited to share something new. You all know Hickory CP, also Hickory Connection Pool. However, let me tell you something about Hickory CP. Hickory is fast, simple and reliable JDBC connection pool. Connection pool is cache of database connection. It can be used as standalone or can be integrated with Spring. In this tutorial, I will demonstrate how to create connection pool having Oracle proxy username. A proxy user allows you to connect as another user without knowing the password. This feature is supported by JDBC Oracle call interface, OCI driver or JDBC thin driver. As this size suggests, we have to first create the schema owner user which is identified by secret password and then the proxy user identified by the proxy user's password. The next statement auto user schema owner grant connect through my user one is allowing proxying from my user one to schema owner. In case you want to see which all users have proxy access then run the following statement select star from proxy users it will show you the proxy user the client and the authentication flags there can be different use cases for proxy authentication one is where application does not want to maintain credentials for multiple database users using this feature application will log in using a proxy user and then switch to the required client user needed to perform the business operation. Grant of the client user R1 that the application connections will be entitled to. Therefore, it appears that application has connected with the client user. If you remember the Oracle example, schema underscore owner is the client user. In this demo, class name Oracle Proxy User Data Source is creating Hickory data source using Hickory config. In Hickory config, we will set the user myuser1 and its credentials. Please note the set data source class name is set as custom Oracle data source. Custom Oracle data source is extending Oracle data source provided by Oracle library. Here we are overriding get connection method. Within the get connection method, super.getConnection is called and we are casting it into Oracle connection. Also note, we are setting a property, Oracle connection dot proxy username. The value of this property should be schema underscore owner as per our previous example and then oracle connection provides a method open proxy session here we are providing the proxy type username as one parameter and the properties which has the username this is how hickory connection pool with proxy username can be created the github demo link can be found in the description that's all for this video guys if you find this course useful then please like and subscribe my youtube channel goodbye